everyone and welcome back so today's video yes super scary we are changing seasons I'm going to do an autumn makeup look which as you can see it's the one that I've got on here I almost felt it was a little bit too soon to go into the autumn makeup like I didn't know whether we're still kind of trying to hold on to summer but really all the autumn clothes are coming in so I thought it'd be a perfect time so weird seeing me in this type of lip because I normally just go nude I will show you the face but I am just going to speed through that slightly just because you guys have seen it 10,000 times now and mainly I'm going to focus on the eyeshadow so I hope you enjoyed this video and here we go ok I'm going to go straight in with my foundation which as you probably all know by now it's the Estee Lauder Double Wear love how quick the double wear is just whack it on and it's just amazing and it stays like this guys like no joke it just does not move okay so I'm going to use one of my brand new products here which is one of the Fenty Beauty matchsticks this one's actually called um, Mocha and it's more of a contour stick well that's what I'm going to use it for anyway Get your wall paint on girls I don't know if any of you saw my um, Fenty video what I did last week uh, but I used the highlighter stick so I've gone back and I've brought another one um, yeah so this was the contour stick but with the highlighter stick I said that it was easy to blend with the fingers rather than a brush because it didn't. When I used my brush, it didn't really move it. Um, but I have found with this contour stick, obviously, like you've just seen, I put my foundation on with the sponge. Um, it does blend the stick as well. Now I'm going to conceal under the eye, which is going to work as a highlighter as well. Oh sorry I forgot to say that was my double wear concealer as well. But like I said you guys probably know that by now. Now I'm just going to set this with the Ben Nye Banana Powder and I'm going to use my Victoria Beckham and Estee Lauder bronzer in Java Sun. Just under the cheek again, under the cheekbone. I know you've just done a con we've just done the contour with the Fenty matchstick, but I'm just extra so now I'm going to use one of my favourite products as you all know which is the SD Edit Flash Illuminator in Morning Light. Okay so something about this product, I'm really sad, I think they have discontinued the SD Edit range now, um, I'm not 100% sure why and I'm freaking out, I don't know what I'm going to do about my illuminator, I've already tried to buy a new one because as you can see it's getting quite low. Can't get it. If you guys know any liquid illuminators, please put it in the comments below because I need some help. Okay, and for my highlight, I'm just going to take the Becca palette, the Jaclyn Hill Becca palette, and I'm going to take Champagne Pop. Actually, no, I'm not. I want to take Prosecco Pop. Prosecco Pop's the more gold one. eyebrows you know the drill my normal ones which is the benefit browsing but I only need to use the powder side um, and the Anastasia Beverly Hills dip brow in blonde go ahead with the benefit browsing powder just to fill the brow in Brow. and I 
I just go along the bottom line. Okay, so now I'm going to use the MAC Paint Pot in Soft Ochre just to carve the underneath of the brow. Okay, so now I'm going to go onto the eyes. Uh, I'm going to use the Violet Voss Holy Grail palette. As you guys know, I absolutely love it and it's one of my newest palettes. And if that doesn't say autumn makeup to you, I don't know what does. So I'm just going to start with Crystal, which is the very lightest colour, just to set the paint pot. Okay, now I'm going to take Transition, which is this one here, just in the crease. Take hashtag which is the orange colour again just in the crease just to warm that up a little bit okay, I'm just gonna take this brown shade here it's not gonna focus it's called brownie point <sighs> guys I've just stuck my nail in it Pretend like that didn't happen. This one's actually just actually in the crease because when I say crease, I always just blend into the whole lid again. But I actually am just the crease in this one. And um, with Teddy Bear, which is the darkest brown in the palette, again just through here. And on the inner. Okay, I'm just going to take the skinny brush again and go with brownie points, which is that brown, just to follow under the eye again. Okay, I'm going to take a flat brush like this again, X plus, and I'm just going to spray that one because I'm going to pick up some of this gold tone here called Toffee and I'm just going to pop that right in the middle of the eye. ahead with my Estee Edit shadow stick in Spiced which is a copper liner I'm just gonna take my other Fenty matte stick which is one of the highlighter sticks in Starstra just for under the brow bone just gonna do it with my finger Finally, for the eyes, uh, I'm just going to use my mascara, which is the Bobbi Brown No Smudge Mascara. Just going to line the lips. And I'm going to take the MAC lipstick in Twig.
Okay guys, there you have it. This is my autumn makeup look. Looking forward to this season of makeup and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe and put your comments below. This has been super fun and I'll see you guys soon.